Howdy YouTubers! It's December 27th, 2020, and these are your daily announcements. So I am just heading out of work. I have already been at work today. And I am now leaving Best Place. Not a lot going on right now. You know, the COVID thing still has us really limited to what we can do, but we are still doing tours and we are still doing, we still have our coffee shop open and our gift shop. So we, we got a little bit of stuff going on, but it's definitely not the, uh, the hop in place like it normally is. But I, I truly believe that we're rounding a corner here. I know there's still quite a few COVID cases out there, but you know, between, uh, between the vaccines and people just generally, you know, being careful, hopefully we can turn the corner and get back to normal sometime by the middle or end of next year, which would be awesome. So on my way to work today, uh, if you guys don't know this already, I have another channel. It's called Rachel Loves Star Wars. And if you're into Star Wars, please go check it out. You know, I would love to have you join in on the conversation. Um, but I was doing my, my Rachel Love Star Wars video this morning. And all right, so last night it was foggy. And this morning it's, it got a little bit warmer. And I was going over the 89441 uh, ramp to 94 East going towards my job and I just about I, I was fishtailing like something fierce okay then when I got my, the vehicle under control I came up on a accident right at the end of the ramp so I had to kind of like squeeze around it and then there was another accident off on the side of the road and I caught it all on camera or I caught my reaction to it on camera. So I'm going to show that to you right now. We left. <gasps> Jeepers Christmas. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh geez. I almost crashed you guys. There is some ice on the bridge. Oh my gosh. Thank you. All wheel drive. Oh Jeepers. Oh Jeepers. Oh Jeepers. Oh Jeepers. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wow. I almost crashed you guys. And then at the end of that on-ramp, there was a crash and I had to get around the crash. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me safe. So yeah, I'm very fortunate that I didn't get into an accident. Um, that was very slippery. Thank goodness for this all-wheel drive. I could tell exactly when it was like grabbing the ground. And uh, I'm okay. So that is good. Also, uh, let's see what else is going on. My, We went to my mom's for Christmas. And we had a very COVID Christmas. If you go over to my mom's channel, which is Northern Nancy. Um, she made a little video about our time there. We were only there an hour we all wore our masks. We stood on separate ends of the room. My mom made all this pre-bagged, pre-packaged, like little treat bags for us. Um, and we were as safe as we possibly could be. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty, it was kind of ridiculous, but at the same time, you know, I was just happy to be there. You know, I was just happy to be there and see my mom and see my brothers who I don't get to see very much right now. But we were very careful. And uh, it was nice, it was nice. Rick's birthday just was on December 24th, so we celebrated that at home, just the four of us, just Chrissy, Devante, Rick, and myself. And we had cake and I made steak and uh, chicken for Chrissy and potatoes delicious vegetables and it was fun and then we had a cake for him we sang happy birthday it was nice so that was that was cool um 
again, a kind of a weird birthday for him. It was a weird birthday for me too, but at least we were together and we were with the people that we care about. So that was cool. I mean, I truly, I truly have to look back on this and there's a lot of disastrous things that happened as the result of COVID-19, but one of the good things that happened, I think, is it forced us all to stop and appreciate the people who are in our lives. You know, when you can't see people, when you can't get together for holid- get together for holidays and you can't hang out with each other and celebrate all these birthdays and stuff like that, and you feel the loss of their presence, it just solidifies how important people are to you, right? I mean, I really got into a horrible depression. Like, this is probably, I think probably the worst depression I've ever had in my life, you know? And I could have gone to the doctor and got on meds. I did not. I suffered through it um, because I do not want to have to try to get off of Effexor again. I was on Effexor once, and coming off of that was absolutely horrifying. The worst the worst, it was the worst thing I've ever experienced. Um, so I suffered through it. I don't recommend that people do that. I think that, you know, the help is out there. You should go and get it. I didn't this time because I, I felt like it was a situational depression. So I, I really wanted to just tough it out and, If it would have gotten even a tiny bit worse, I would have gone back on meds. I actually have a bottle of Effexor at home, you know. It's probably, it's probably over, it's probably expired by now. But I do have, I do have one at home just in case things get, like, really go crazy with my depression. But it never got to that point. It just was rough. But, but... I feel myself coming out of it. I really do. I I feel so much better. It's like a night and day difference. It's a night and day difference. Like just it, two just two weeks ago, I was still feeling just bad, and now it's two weeks later, and I'm feeling so much better. I feel my energy coming back. I feel, I just I feel so much better. So. I'm really looking forward to 2021. I want to get back on my diet, like really heavy, get back on my diet, get back to exercising, really focus on, um, on my mind, body, and spirits this year, focus on my family, focus on my friends, and really try to, to reconnect with people that I, I haven't connected with in months because I've been in such a funk. And, uh, again, I'm really appreciative to those of you who have been patient with me through this and who have stuck by me and uh, haven't just written me off. I really appreciate that and uh, you guys know who you are and I love you Um, very much. You don't even know. So and you know God bless Chrissy and Rick because and Devante, I bet those those three people have just been my rocks, my anchors. Um, they help bring me back to center so many times, you know. Especially Chrissy, she, you know, God love Chrissy. She like she can like look at me and know when something is really going wrong with me. She knows me so well that she can see all the subtle little nuances that are like. She could tell when I'm getting triggered and, and she uh, knows how to get me out of that, get me out of that situation. And I don't know what I would have done without her. She is the best person on this planet and I love her so much. You don't even know. You don't even know. She, she's my, she is my foundation. So thank you, Chrissy. I love you so much. You're the best. You're the bestest ever. And she's so beautiful and wonderful and amazing. So that was my ode to Chrissy. I hope you enjoyed that. (laughs) But she really has. She's like the best friend I've ever, ever had. And uh, just she loves me so much. And it makes me so happy. 
So that's all I had to talk about. Wow, I've talked for 9 minutes and 46 seconds. I'll try to edit that down. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. I love you guys. Mwah. Take care, everybody. And soon it'll be 2021 and we'll be celebrating that together. Goodbye, 2020. Okay, bye-bye.